Well, howdy tubers. Well, I really didn't do anything today. I did do just a little bit last night. And uh, just had had some call, phone calls from people today. And then uh, a friend of mine, Paul, called that, uh, um, that I'd work on his cars. And and he moved to Florida. Of course, he he came up here for the for the Chiefs game. Whoop, whoopie do! Uh, I don't know why, but anyways, he came up for that, and uh, and then he left today. At, or supposed to have left today at four o'clock to go back to Florida. So I told him since or he went and picked up the transmission that he ordered, and so I will be. Uh, going over there tomorrow and uh, putting this tra well taking the transmission out of his 67 Chevelle big block with Teleram and two fours and awesome car that I've worked on before uh, but anyways um, go over there and swap out these transmissions and um, I don't know if I'll take any video of that I don't know if it'd be any interest in this airplane guys but anyways let's get to the ultra cruiser oh and um one of the subscribers said something about um well one guy said something about pointing at things was a pointer or something and so uh thought well that was a good idea and then another guy said uh oh shoot um hang on let me think about that i got it that didn't take long uh, he said instead of putting UC when I do a video about the Ultra Cruiser to put Ultra Cruiser because that might um, th the title of your videos really makes a difference. I noticed that when I went to Oshkosh because if I put Oshkosh on the video, boom, it got a bunch of hits. And and then, of course, when I put Mike Patey on there, it got bunches of hits. So maybe I just need to put Ultra Cruiser instead of UC, and then maybe it'll get more hits, because it's been a long time since I've gotten uh, videos that are, you know, you get on YouTube, and there and uh, you get a notification that, hey, you want to look at this video or something. I haven't got one of them in a long time, but I know I'm rambling, so let's get to what I did. One thing I did yesterday was I took out this rudder push rod tube and bent it as in put an arc in it. And when it was straight, of course, I mean, it took up a little bit more of your shoulder room or something. And since it was straight, when it came through here, it pushed this over. And so I had to pull this over. Let's see. Yeah, I had to push this over to get to it. But now with it in there like this, I might be telling you wrong there. But anyways, it's it's not as bound up here as it as it was by having that slight slight bend in there. And then just for the heck of it, because I I will be taking it back off. All right, pretty sure I will. But anyways, so because I still need to get to, and I and I still could, but. I still need to put that bolt in. Well, the bolt's in there. I still need to put uh, a nut on there and tighten the, the nut on the uh, the rod end. But I just thought, well, let me... I did go ahead and drill out the rest of these, rest of those holes in there in bulkhead B. And still got to vacuum out in there. But at least it gives you... A look there I should have brought down the well let me go get it let me go get the windshield bow that's almost like magic isn't it I say I'm gonna get it and boom there it is so let's see how this goes well, I'm thinking it's gonna need some Guess I get you over there with the seat. Well, it's kind of hard to do with one hand. Well, yeah, and holding the camera in the other, but it's probably going to need a little tweaking, just like the 
have the uh, turtle deck bow did. I did get this all trimmed off and and uh, ran a miracle wheel on there. And I think it looks pretty good on there. I did get, uh, we got a place in Kansas City called uh, Metal by the Foot. And I picked up, I already had, oh, well, I had this one and I picked up, picked up another one, a 1032 rod in that I think, I think if I make another uh, push rod out of a uh, half inch solid and take these quarter 28 rod ends out of there and just drill it and tap it for for uh, 1032, I think I might be able to save a little weight there. I'll, of course, I'll take that off when I, or when I take that off, I will weigh it and then weigh this one when I get done and and see how much I saved. So, uh, let's see. I charge this this thing this uh. Osmo, where is that name at? Well, I know I've seen it somewhere. Because I told you guys it said Osmo. It's a uh, DGI. Well, I know I've seen it say Osmo on it somewhere. Maybe right there. I know I've seen it in better, bigger letters. But anyways, oh, there's where it is. I knew I thought I had a had a uh, UM not U, US, USB port where you can run, you can plug plug USB into there and then run a wire up, and uh, it also. I guess run your camera or something or power up your camera with the battery. But I found out that uh, that this is that mini C or whatever they call it, mini C, mini mini USB C or whatever. It's a, it's the same same uh, plug that that charges my phone. So anyway, so I charged that up. Uh, I know we're getting boring now, I'm, but I was just trying to make a longer video. And show that push rod tube in here. It's it's close, but it's not touching, even when you move it. But I think it sure makes it uh, looks like have you know more side room in there. So I guess that'll be good enough. And I don't know if, of course, you know you've only got till tomorrow to. Let me know if you want to see anything. I, I might just do a little short one on the Chevelle. It's, it's a pretty car. So anyway, I'll stop rambling just to get a longer video. So uh, um, Matt, my buddy Matt that uh, that had COVID and his family has too. They their his daughter's better, but his wife and him are kind of had a little bit of a relapse or something. He thought he was going to work, go to work this morning, but when he got up, he didn't, he just didn't quite feel right. So, so he didn't. So keep him in your prayers and also Preacher Joe, he's kind of down too. So yeah, he's got a tailor craft that he flies around. Anyways, there you go and God bless.